Rishi Sunak is hosting a cabinet minister, a cabinet meeting this morning, as he does most Tuesday mornings. What's top of the agenda? They will be discussing, I'm sure, the uh, the ongoing situation with Brexit and whether or not there will be a deal um, to iron out the problems with the Northern Ireland Protocol. Now, this really goes to the heart of Rishi Sunak's early premiership, if you like, because he has sort of set his um, set his status along getting things done, you know, quietly beavering away, none of the sort of uh, glamour that we might have associated with Boris Johnson, but sorting out problems. Now, we had expected there to be an announcement early this week, and we're, you know, we're already on Tuesday morning, um, and nothing's happened so far. Now, it could happen later today, it could happen tomorrow. I don't think that will happen, because the DUP does seem to have thrown a spanner in the works. Remember, it's only got eight MPs at Westminster. Mm. Yeah, because they are the voice of Northern Ireland, as they see it, certainly of unionism in Northern Ireland, they command a very strong voice, um, particularly as well with the ERG, the Conservative Party's hard right wing. And one thing I think that's interesting is when we're talking about potential government resignations, if the deal is seen to be not pure enough for, um, for some unionists, Suella Braverman, the Home Secretary, she was a senior figure in the ERG, the European Research Group. She's now one of hold, the holder of one of the four great offices of state. Mm. Now, whether or not she gives her backing to this deal, and obviously as a cabinet member she would be expected to, that's key. And two other big figures in this, the Northern Ireland Secretary Chris Heaton-Harris and his deputy Steve Baker, former Brexit minister, they were both big voices in the ERG as well. Mm. So if they come on side, getting their support will be massive for Rishi Sunak in persuading the ERG and potentially the DUP to stay on board. And it's fascinating because Suella Braverman and Steve Baker were so-called Brexit Spartans, those who voted against the deal three times. Now, Boris Johnson only voted against the deal twice. Uh, so potentially their influence here, what they say, and, and potentially Cabinet this morning might be discussing some of the details of what's in this deal, which I must stress, none of us have seen. We understand there might be a sort of a green lane for goods going from GB to NI... Uh, where they don't get checked so heavily if they're staying in Northern Ireland rather than going on beyond that. But we don't know the particular details, how, deal, how deep that green lane is. Suella Braverman here might be a very, very key player. Yeah, getting her on side, you'll be able to persuade the ERG, look, if even Suella backs it, it can't be that bad, can it? There was an interesting line in the Times this morning, a government official quoted as saying, when it comes to the DUP, we don't even need them to say yes, we just need them not to say no. Mm. So sort of quiet acquiescence from the DUP, and it's not something we associate with a democratic union, mm. it has to be said, um, but that could be enough for that, this to, to get support.